name is Bethany Ray and I am a teaching artist with Meadow Arts, a nonprofit art organization located in Twisp, Washington. Today we are going to make a fun, colorful project using a technique called pointillism and we're going to make a nice little landscape scene kind of like this one. What you will need today for this project is some watercolor paint, a pencil, a hard surface to paint on some water, Q-tips, um, artist tape, or you can just use blue painter's tape, that's fine, and little pieces of watercolor paper. Go ahead and pause the video, collect these materials, and when you have all the materials you need for this project, you can press play again. All right, hopefully by now you have all your materials, but before we begin, we need to ask, what is pointillism? Well, pointillism is a technique used by artists that uses lots of little dots, uh, colored dots, layered on top of each other to create an image. So for instance, Georges Seurat is a very well-known artist who uses pointillism in a lot of his paintings, including the bathers. So if you were to look at this painting from far away, it doesn't look very much like there's a lot of dots. But when you zoom in and you look real close, he actually has taken a brush and made all these teeny tiny dots to make his image. All right, so now that we've talked about pointillism, we're going to use a little bit of pointillism today with our art project, of course. But first we gotta get set up. Um, so you're gonna take a little piece of watercolor paper. Um, it doesn't matter really what size. I have just a small watercolor paper in front of me, piece of watercolor paper. And I'm gonna put it down on a flat surface and take some tape and tape it down. I'm just gonna take some pieces of paper here. There you go. So you want to tape along all the edges just so it stays down securely. And again, you don't need fancy artist tape like I'm using today. It's fine if you use um, blue painter's tape if you have some. Okay, so there we go. I've taped down all my edges. And now what's next is you're going to get your pencil and draw your scene. Okay, so now that you've taped down the paper, the next step is to draw your scene. I'm going to draw a little mountain scene. It's totally up to you what you want to draw, but I would say keep it simple. So some simple shapes. I'm just going to do some triangular tops here. And also remember to draw light with a pencil because if you draw too hard or you press down too hard with your pencil, it's going to be harder to erase. Give some little snow. There we go. And then I'm going to add some trees. So again, just keeping it simple. I'm just going to stack some of these again, kind of triangular shapes on top of each other. Almost like little upside down V's. Just showing where those little trees are going to go. And also you might want to try to experiment with different size just to make sure or just to make your um, painting uh, interesting. Give it some variety. All right, so now I have my pencil drawing and you are ready or we are ready to add the dots. So I'm going to just dab my Q-tip into the water just a little bit just to get it wet. And I'm going to start first with the sky, so I'm going to work from top to bottom. And I'm going to make a little blue sky here. And I'm going to dab my Q-tip in the watercolor. And then I'm just going to press down and lift up, press down and lift up until I cover the whole area where the sky is. And try as best as you can not to just press down and smear across. Right, this is a little bit different than if you were using a brush um, and you're just quickly covering over the area. You want to cover the area with lots of dots. That is the key with pointillism. You're using lots and lots of lots of dots. 
kind of stacked nearby and on top of each other. Okay? All right, and then you'll notice right about now, I need to stop, pause, dip my brush back in the water, or sorry, my Q-tip rather, back in the water and back in the paint. So if you notice that your paint's starting to look a little dull on the paper, then you need to take a break and cover your Q-tip again with paint. There you go, now we're all set. Okay, so I started with the sky. Next part is the mountains. So I'm gonna again get my Q-tip a little bit wet with some water and I want my mountains to be purple. And just keep going until you have all of the mountains or whatever you chose to draw nice and covered with your choice of color. So if you do not have a brush, or sorry, if you do not have a Q-tip today, you're welcome to use a brush. I'm gonna show you how to use a brush as well. Go ahead and wet the brush and swish it around in the paint, okay? And you're just going to use the very tip of your brush and press down, lift up, press down, lift up. Same idea. You're pressing down and lifting up and kind of scattering it over the surface of the paper. And if you're noticing that your paintbrush is starting to run out of paint, then you just pause, take a break, get some more paint and continue on. This requires some patience, so go slow. Don't rush it. Art looks really good when we're patient and willing to go nice and slow. Okay, so there's an example of using a Q-tip and then using a brush. I'm gonna clean off my brush and continue on with a Q-tip again. So dip the Q-tip in water and I'm gonna go on to my trees. I'm just gonna follow those lines that I've made up and down left to right until they're all covered. Okay, and the last little bit is just these mountains down here. I'm gonna fill in this space. All right, so I'm just gonna let this dry. And once it dries a little bit, then you'll need a permanent marker if you'd like to go back over like I did in this one and outline the mountains and trees or whatever you might have drawn and painted. So I'll come back to that in just a moment. Okay, so now that my painting has had some time to dry, I'm gonna go back over those pencil outlines with my permit marker. I'm gonna start with the mountains. And again, go slow. Kinda of missed the top there, but that's okay. Mistakes happen, it's all right. Okay, same thing, just, just go slow and take your time. What I really like about adding the permit marker, it just kind of helps make the colors stand out just a bit more. I'm gonna outline the trees. Go.
And you are also welcome to, I know I didn't layer different colors on top of each other, but if that's something that you like to experiment with in your painting, totally fine. Again, this is your work of art. Make it your own. There's a lot of different things that you can do and experiment with pointillism. So I encourage you to, yeah, keep experimenting, paint other things. Maybe something different than a landscape. Maybe something like a, a butterfly or your favorite animal. That'd be kind of fun. All right, doing my last little tree. There we go. And I'm just gonna sign it like a true artist. And you're all finished. All right, I hope you enjoyed creating with me today. I look forward to the next time that we make some more art together. Until then, bye for now.